Welcome to another video. Let's take this limit as x goes to infinity of a log function. It's actually a combination of two log functions, but both of them have base 3. In most videos that we have done, the natural log function has been what we worked on. But now you have this. Is there anything special or strange? And why do we have infinity as the point x is approaching? Now remember, you can't mess with infinity. Whatever you're doing with infinity has to obviously just be a single term. But whenever you have two functions or two terms such that each of them goes to infinity because by observation, this would go to infinity, this would go to infinity, but there's a minus sign between the two functions. You can't separate infinity from infinity, so the only way out is to get rational expressions. And we're fortunate that we're dealing with logarithmic functions, so you can easily create a rational a function or a rational expression from these two. The first time I saw this problem, I thought in my head, oh, I have to change the base. I have to go from just log to natural log so I can do my calculus with it. But I don't need to do that. It doesn't matter what the base is, the same principle applies. So what I'm going to do is say that this is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. I'm going to combine these two together because remember, the, the law of logarithm says that you can combine these two together if they have the same base. So I can write this as the logarithm of 3, and then this would be divided by this. This is going to be 3x plus 2 over x plus 2. So this is the limit that I'm about to compute. And it's obvious that to take the limit of a function it is the same thing as the function of the limit. We can move this limit in here, okay? If we move this limit in here, because we know that this limit exists. So as long as this function is continuous, and we know the function is continuous, and the limit exists, you can move this inside here. So we can say that this is equal to the logarithm base 3 of the limit as x goes to infinity of this function. So we're going to have this, and then we're going to have 3x plus 2 over x plus 2. Okay, now, this is easy because we can easily find this limit. From your pre-calculus days, you know the answer to this is 3, right? But what should you do normally? I would always recommend that you show your work I know people say this one is growing faster than this. There's a bigger infinity than this. Uh, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Just do what you're supposed to do. Make sure that this is equal to the logarithm to base 3 of, if you take this limit, what you do is you look at the denominator. In every case, when you're dealing with infinity or negative infinity, look at the denominator. Look at the highest power of x. It is this one. Use it to divide every term that is in the expression that you have. Do that. Okay? Always do that. I know you have alternative ways, but this is the way that I know works all the time. So, this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity. Now, I'm going to divide everything here by x. Remember? So, it's going to be 3x over x plus 2 over x divided by x over x plus 2 over x. You're taking this limit. You notice that if you simplify, this is the logarithm to base 3 of, this is now equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of this expression here is 3 plus 2 over x divided by 1 plus 2 over x. Now, we can easily take this limit. This is constant. This is constant. No problem. As x goes to infinity, this goes to 0. This goes to 0. So your answer is actually, let me write it here. This is the logarithm to base 3 of 
3 plus 0 over 1 plus 0. Okay, so this is equal to log 3. The answer here is 3 over 1, which is 3. And log 3 base 3 is 1. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.